All right, we're back. Circle the Back Podcast coming to you live from the pig pen, baby. My name's Will DeFreeze, Mr. Pen15 himself, David Ruff. You know it. Thanks, Will. Were y'all aware that they're making a Gladiator 2? No. Um, I was today years old when I learned that they're making a Gladiator 2. Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Oh. I said that weird. He's great. Hasn't it been long enough that it's not even like a sequel? Like it's just a straight up new Gladiator film? Like it's been over 20 years. Well, it's called Gladiator 2. It shouldn't. It sh- they should just call it like Gladiator Returns. Well, Russell Crowe, they bring him back <clears throat> from the dead. The tech is there. It's a little bit of fan fiction, but I think it's going to be good. I don't think that's the plot. I actually don't know. I just saw this pop up on my feed. Cast looks great. Denzel Washington. You're familiar with his work. I, I have seen one of the best of all time. Yeah. In 10th grade, I read the book Gladiator based on the movie for school. Really? Yep. yep. How'd that go? Academics at Harbor Springs High School are pretty through the roof. That's sick. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. That rocks. Yep. Some of the kids got in trouble. For, they had to leave the room uh, when we actually watched the movie. They didn't get their permission slip signed. Was that a coach <laughs> class? Coach taught class? Technically, yes. Technically, yes. I was thinking about the science class I took in seventh grade. It was my wide receivers coach uh, taught it. And there would be classes where he would just open like this big book and it was just like 10,000 crazy facts about science or something. <laughs> and he would just read like, like do you know there's enough, um, r- there's enough uh, whatever in the Golden Gate Bridge to wrap around the world twice? Or so I saw sh- it always, he, uh, we'd spend an entire class just listening to fun facts that didn't relate to any specific Lesson plan. It was just like, damn, that is crazy, coach. Barks is reading a book right now called uh, "Like Weird Facts About Animals," and it's yes, yeah, that's great. He what are the facts? Are they weird? Are they about animals? Uh, there are some weird ones. Yeah, like what specifically? I yeah, can, I can, can you remember. rattle some off for us? No, I can't. But You're the space guy. I'm the space guy, not the animal. That sounds like a uh, Scholastic Book Fair pickup. It was. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's that's where where he got it. That was a great place to get those kind of books. Yeah. Mr. Scholastic Book Fair, Dylan Shivery. I was yesterday years old when I saw Indiana Jones, the new one, with, oh. with my son and partner. Um, I fell asleep for about 30 minutes. <laughs> In theater? <laughs> yep. I, I do that quite often when I take parts to the movies. I don't know why. It always happens to me. He just keeps nudging me like, dude, you're missing it. Like, sorry, man. Boy, that is, that is a level of old manness that I have not unlocked yet. Oh, dude. I, I do it a lot. I fell, I fell asleep on the couch yesterday while watching something with Fritz. Just zonked out for oh, 45 minutes. The, At home, I do it often. In the, a movie theater, though, that's crazy. The first 30 minutes of the movie is like CGI Harrison Ford because he plays a younger version of himself. And it's like so obvious that it, it kind of threw me off. It was a weird tone setter for the movie because his, his face was like very unnatural movements, you know? Nonstop action. I mean, from the moment, moment they cut the lights down until the end it's just non-stop chase scenes fight scenes sorry i'm I, I, i'm doing? really distracted by what dave's doing right no. now what, can the, you explain what you're doing is screwing the cap back onto my water bottle because it was on at an angle and it was bothering me mm-hmm. i could i was would, sitting here looking at you and it was just distracting. that would bother me too thanks yeah. for doing it when i was I mean, you were doing about. fine you didn't have to stop it's non-stop action so it, oh we've done that though it's crazy like john wick just too, it, honestly, it's too much. Like, give me a break from the action. They what if they, what if they actually had no action during the thirty minutes that you slept? Then I, I slept during the wrong. Like 30 you saw, minutes. you saw them just planting plot seeds nonstop, yeah. and you just missed it because you were dozing off. That was thirty minutes total. I, I probably fell asleep about three or four different times. That's how you hide the fact that your lead actor is eighty years old. It's just nonstop action and CGI. Yeah. Anyway, what was the order? I know you didn't go in there just with no food or no drink. What did oh, you get, dog? We just got uh, bottomless popcorn. Okay. It was mi- middle, middle of the day. It was like 2 Gross. o'clock. Alamo? Yeah. Waters. Water? Popcorn stinks, dude. We need we need new office snacks, Dave. Our, all oh, we have shit. right now is popcorn, and we can't. I can't operate like this. That popcorn's good. No, no it's no not. One's touching it's, it. One, it's not even that good of well, popcorn. I, no, it's not. Randy, Randy and Randy's intern and me. I and I do like two bags a week, but yeah, you're right. I, I canceled the subscription. 
I did because I noticed yeah. that it was not. I don't like that we're. I don't like that we're ordering snacks in the office just for interns. Like I feel like I feel like they should be last on the the pecking order for ordering food. Well, Randy wants I, like. I, I think the dynamic here dictates that because everybody kind of does their own thing and everyone has such a different taste. The only thing that people agree on is think bars, specifically the peanut butter, which we will have more of soon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we like them enough that we don't have any right now. We we go through those maybe a little too quick. I mean, a box of twenty four or less a week, if that. Well, we got. I mean, we got five hungry ass dudes who have like one a day. I'm trying to feast in here. You know that. Yeah, I'm trying to get that protein in. I'm trying Shoot. to get my think. I'm trying to put my thinking cap on. <sighs> You're looking tropical today. Yeah, this is my my rowback, man. It's a uh, azalea. Iggy. Yeah. Mr. Iggy Azalea. Uh no. It's uh, just a flower. Can it's we restart the pod? Theme. Can we restart the pod so I can call you Mr. Iggy? I G G Y. So what's the fucking deal with the shirt? It's a great shirt. It's a Roback shirt, man. What do you want? What more do you want? Back I don't know. Or, you're back talking or 20. About it. You want to say 20%? Yeah. That's what say I'm trying to get you to say. Back or 20. You're over there getting distracted. I, I was distracted. I'm sorry. I'm no longer distracted. And I'm here to talk about this shirt. It's a great shirt. Fits me perfectly. It's moisture wicking. What, what more do you want, David? That sounds about it. Okay. Can people get uh, 20% off using Backer 20? Yeah, they can. Backer God. 20 at checkout. God. Yeah. Check it out. Load your card up, though, because it is a one-time use code. Don't buy one shirt and try to go back and use it again because you can't. Idiots. So are we just doing this weekend in fun? We can just do it. Yeah, let's go. Before we get to it, hold on. Patreon.com slash Circling Back Podcast. If I had a guest tomorrow, we'll probably do, I don't know, maybe a little bit of uh, exactly five minutes. Keep an eye out. Patreon.com slash Strickling Back Podcast. Tomorrow we'll probably do exactly five minutes where you guys can send in your prompts. We'll talk about them for five minutes exactly after they're randomly selected in our ball machine that Dylan runs. He's 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 pretty good at it these I'm days. Goated at it. Yeah, actually. he's only you only. I think you've only had like one situation where the balls went everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, but it's we, only, that's only happened one time. We still got through it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Also on Fridays we've been doing the Love Island boys. We're recapping season ten Love Island UK. All for free this year. Not beyond the paywall. Please enjoy. We had Sal Gal on there last time. She's a Love Island expert. Uh, and listener voicemails on Thursdays. 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. And if you want to watch every episode, go to youtube.com slash circling back. Make it happen. Go leave a review for Will's five-star review <gasps> of the week. Wow. It debuts on Wednesday. Every Wednesday it debuts. It's new every week. I don't read the same review every week. That'd be weird. That would be weird. It's time. Like we said, this weekend in fun is presented by Broback Backer 20. For all your moisture wicking needs, they got it all. Polos, t-shirts, shorts. Jogger season is, is rapidly approaching as well. They the have great joggers. Hoodies absolutely goaded for just hoodies. lounging. Yes. Just go we make it happen. Get Backer 20 a try at Roback.com and get 20% off your entire cart, my friends. Dylan. What'd you get into this weekend? I'll keep mine brief as you guys are the ones who had the action-packed uh, weekends, especially Friday. Um, I didn't do a whole lot, man. And that's very lame. Um, did some uh, moving on Saturday, actually. And Sunday I had parks and we went and saw the very okay Indiana Jones movie. Although I, I might be doing it a disservice by saying that since I missed a chunk of it. But... Can you give us two sentences on the plot? Two sentences on the plot? They are trying to... Uh, chase down one half of an artifact that allows them to travel in time. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> guess what, Dave? They track it down. Okay. Uh, spoiler, potentially. Do they travel in like back in time? They travel back in time. Oh, but yes. they miss... They missed the year that they're trying to travel oh. back to because of some miscalculation. Because of the flux capacitor! They, uh, there's a miscalculation... Uh, some, there are some Nazis that are also want to use this artifact in order Nazis. to go back and rewrite history. World Fuck. War II. Ever heard of World War II? I hate it. A anyway. lot of people died. What? Like the entire world? Uh-huh. Yeah, the entire world was at war. Well, it's a whole thing, man. Whole thing. Happened you'll twice? Nev you'll never believe yeah. who started it. <laughs> it wasn't us, was it? No. No. Okay. No. We okay. Were, okay. Yeah, we were on the... The right side of history. Okay, like we didn't do anything like we, we, we had good takes during the World War, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. It was the Germans. Oh, dude, they are up to no good sometimes. Yeah, they they have a a spotty history for sure. Good engineering, some tough takes historically, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, I think you're probably right there. I did not I did not anticipate a time travel element to yeah. this, and that, that yeah, actually I don't makes like me want to see it. I don't yeah. like that. It's a, there's a time travel element, but it's not it's not super sciencey. It's kind of cool. Okay, it, there's a, a, the artifact was made by Archimedes, dude. Familiar for sure, dude. I fuck with Archimedes heavy. I feel like Randy's got to know something. I was more of a Thucydides guy. Randy, is Dylan botching the plot here? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen it. I'm more of a suck on D's guys. But uh, <laughs> no. Archimedes was the guy in the bathtub and figured out volume displacement. Yeah. That, that was, there's a reference to that in the movie, actually. Damn, you could do the most basic shit back in the day and just get credited for so much science in the future. Dude, he, he came the dude's in a... the bathtub just pushing a ball down. Wait, he's displacing water. Is he the original tub girl? Yes. Was he Bendy doing it? What does it have to do with anything? What? You're which so specifically? Perverted. Which one are you talking to me? Yeah, pervert I, alert. What is perverted about asking if he was Bendy? You know, you know what you're doing. Real ones know what you're doing. The new listeners, maybe not. Hey, which co- Texas country singer uh, <laughs> had the song about a Texas time, tra- time travel machine? Was it Corey Morrow? Yes. Yes. That song always made me laugh because I'm like, dude, if you have the technology to travel back in time, you're only going to use it for Texas history. <laughs> I feel like there's so much other shit you should yeah. do. Yeah. Sorry, um, that's very niche, but it, it it's a fun song. But just come on, let's do something different. You know those old Indiana Jones movies when like a punch is like the sound of a punch is very exaggerated. Oh yeah, Dish! sounds like that. They 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 still do that in the good. Movie. They yeah. should. They should. I I never got super into Indiana Jones. I watched them, but I think I've watched each of them exactly like one time. Oh, I liked them. I but like. I enjoy the idea of Indiana Jones movies. I'm yeah. glad they exist. They're good. They're good. I like the one where the guy rips his, the other dude's heart out. Kalima. Yeah. Kalima. That's the one. Yeah. See, Dylan's into this. Yeah, dude. He's... I like Indiana Jones, man. Good music. I'm going to take him to see um, Mission Impossible, PG-13. I'll be there. I may go with y'all. Let's go. Let me know when, because I, I absolutely want to go to see Comes that. out tomorrow, David. The new Mission Impossible? Yeah. Is Cruz in this? Oh, yeah. Are you oh, kidding? Pass. I'm out then. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. That's how it talks. I yield my time to you fellas who went to see Blink-182. Whoa, we're just ruining people's weekends? Yeah. You're spoiling you, the surprise, You dude? told them about it last week. Wow, you tell it, dude. You okay. It. Yeah, so okay. Like you know the story. These guys cool. went and got a, a dope Jamaican, uh, spicy Jamaican Why don't you just do dinner? a gender reveal for the, the baby that Sally's pregnant with right now, dude, while you're at it? If I knew the, if I knew the sex, then I would. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is either. So Sorry, go ahead, guys. Go ahead, Dave. So my weekend and fun. <laughs> Friday night. Where do I begin? How about at a little restaurant, uh, Kanji? We're doing Kanji or Kanje? Doesn't matter. I don't know. We'll figure it out one day. I don't know. Slowly becoming my favorite restaurant in Austin. And we were there with uh, Will DeFries sitting next to me, his wife, Sally, featured on Friday's Love Island pod. And uh, they're two friends, Nick and Allison, who are great. Great meal. Great vibes. If you are coming to Austin in like two months, maybe three, try to get a res. No, don't. It's terrible. Don't get a res there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -mm. Maybe try to get at the bar. It's not very good. From the waiter all the way to the food and just every the atmosphere there, it's great. Diversity in the menu, phenomenal. What just a great meal drinking red stripes with the boys and the gals. A lot of fun. No one got accused of eating all the fish this time. Notice that. (sighs) I actually got to try the fish this time. It was delightful. The fish there is dank. As were the shrimp, the little teaser shrimp, the grilled shrimp. Oh, my God. That place is good. I've only been once, but I really enjoyed myself. Great spot. Went from there to the Moody Center. It was time to bless the mood, Dylan. Bless the mood, Dave. Bless You bless it real quick. Bless the mood. Blink-182. Are you familiar with Blink 182's catalog? I thought it was Blink 183. No. Nope. Nice. I'm not. Fam- I'm, I know who they are. Yeah. I'm not familiar Dylan with Dylan said um, in the office when we were playing Blink 182 the other day, just Blink 182. Like, oh, not man. even like other music, like, not even other pop punk bands or like anything. But he said that he feels like the entire genre of music is just one big joke. 
No, that's that's not exactly. And what he's I said. the and he's the butt of it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like there's just a, this huge elaborate prank on me about the genre. Dylan, I I, I simply don't understand it. But I also I'm it's able, not for you. I'm also able to recognize that I am in the vast minority here. That many people love it. You're and that's often, great for them. I don't get it, Dylan. As you were a what's seemingly a jock in high school who stuffed people in lockers, I think you're the antagonist in ninety percent of the songs. Yeah, yeah, I that I, I get that. Yep. It sounds like the same lead singer for every band. They actually have two. Yeah, it's kind of that would be difficult. It's confusing. They have very they, different voices between they all have just each other. The same whiny well, voice. Well, they they've been often ripped. Like they 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 created the pop punk. I'm not saying they created pop punk. Are they but they're the biggest pop? Yes. In this genre of that, of that genre, absolutely. Really? Okay. Yes. Respect to that. Yeah. But we got there. Had a little trouble getting to our seats. Got some bad intel from some Moody Center employees. Sent us into some into some areas that we couldn't get into because they were private events, and we had to go up and down some elevators. But we got to our seats just as a turnstile hit the stage, and um, turnstile a band that I've gotten into in recent years. Phenomenal show. Wish I was down on the pit. There was a mini pit going. Wasn't like their normal shows where the entire thing's just going wild, but it was a good show. Then Blink comes out. Great set. I don't know if they followed the set list that's on Spotify exactly. I think they were pretty close. Uh, phenomenal. Even the new stuff that I don't even know about sounded great. I will say, a couple of times I had to look over the list. I'm like, I didn't expect the banter to still be the same banter that they were doing 20 oh, years ago. It, it, it's not the same. Well, they, they've cleaned they it up. They have to scale it back. They've, they've had to scale back. But as far as their back and forth just dumbassery it's so funny it's all tom led dude he tom is, he is he is he has the br or, he has the maturity level still of like a 14 year old he's amazing that he still maintains th being this immature there were multiple times where he would make a comment to mark and mark would be like uh yeah i mean i'm i live with my wife i have my i live in a i sleep in a bed with my wife like talking about threesomes and stuff <laughs> he's like clearly i wonder That's funny i wonder how much um Tension there is is actual because you could I could see them butting heads quite a bit, but Tom is uh, the instigator. But Tom was great. Got to give it to him. Really fun show. Afterward, we went home, <laughs> went to bed. <laughs> Yesterday, I mean dinner and a concert. That's a full evening. I wouldn't I wouldn't feel bad for going home after that. We had some friends put out some feelers afterward. I didn't even respond Will to the didn't text respond. messages. <laughs> like, don't fuck, don't text me at like eleven thirty and expect me to be like, yeah, I'll go to a bar. Oh, no, wow. no. Nah. If we haven't established something like three hours prior to that, just it, it ain't happening. Saturday was a day of rest for me. Just wasn't wasn't really feeling. I didn't want to. I had school Sunday, and I didn't want to be tired for my first and last day of school. And let's get to Sunday. Um. I'm not one to tout my accomplishments. I don't like to pat myself on the back, but I did graduate from brisket U yesterday. No, <laughs> I forgot you did that. <laughs> I'm now a certified brisket expert. So when are you going to do your first? Well, I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm now in my uh, – I'm entering my offset era. I think I want to buy an offset. No, really? Yeah. Dude, that's too much. Yeah, it is. I Dude, know. I, that's actually, too much. You're not wrong. I have one I can sell you that's way too big, way too heavy, and Do impossible it. To, to move. Do it. If you are interested. You still have that? It's at the ranch. Yeah. I've always been more of a dipset guy. I've done that before. Okay. Little mama showed me how you move it. Um, You can't be an offset guy, dude. That's too far. Dude, get an offset. They're so sick. The one dude, I Dylan the loves one his have. so much that he's trying to sell it to you. It it would take up a quarter of my backyard. It, this thing is so freaking heavy, and it's on. It's not on. I mean, ones that are easy to move are on like actual like tires. Yeah, this one has just big iron spoke wheels. <laughs> you can't like you can't move it. It's but it it does. Work. It's a fantastic smoker, just very immobile. What if we happen to own a I don't know a Western themed bar that. Might I don't okay. know. Might want to serve some sausage on Sundays. Smoked sausage, <laughs> sausage, fire smoked sausage the, Sundays fire up at the, the Dick Salute. Smoker just to do sausage. Like what if we just what if we just brought the, <laughs> the offset smoker there? Okay, sure. We smoked a little sausage together. You don't want this smoker, Dave. But I, I was anyway. No, I, I I don't. I'm familiar with it. It is a good smoker. It's, it's, it's just fantastic. It doesn't really work for 
what I'm trying to Did do. Did they ask questions when you were there? Were they like, uh, so how many of you were uh, doing an offset smoker versus, you know, yes. your Traegers and your green eggs? Absolutely. And, and then you had the Koi guys just be like, <laughs> no, there were, um, there were people from, you know, a lot of offset guys, but a lot of, um, people who had pellet grills. There was even people who had the big green city eggs. Folk, city even, folk with their pellet grills. Even just your basic like kettle, your little charcoal contraption. Yeah. One guy had a cabinet smoker. Okay. Those are cool. Those are cool. Uh, no, it was really well done. Like. I even had a beer. You learned a little. It was at a brewery, and I had a Mexican lager. Whoa! Yeah, it was great. I, I did. I learned a lot. It was it was phenomenal. They hit us with some brisket at the very end. Uh, I noticed, like, like like for you to go make, or like they no, hit you with some like they, previously smoked brisket. They had, they took they pulled it at the beginning of the class, let it sit, and then at the end of the class we ate it. Dude, that's savage. Yeah, it was great. If nothing else, I learned uh, I learned how to properly slice a brisket. That's something a mistake I've definitely made in the past but um a lot that, of fun that probably makes more difference than like when people talk about the, like the the grain of the green where i'm like okay if i'm if i'm thinking about the grain of the green going into a putt i don't need to be, <laughs> like i've i'm overthinking what i'm doing right now. yeah you got to be pretty in the weeds to to start factoring in grain aren't you supposed to do it how are you supposed to cut a steak aren't you supposed to do it like against something the grain against the grain is kind of just General Standard, always, me, just do so. that. Yeah. yeah, it's my favorite Seeger song. I feel like it's just something that you just naturally can look at and just figure out without having to like do instructions for it, like I breathing. Just, I just grip grain, so I wouldn't really know Facts. much about cutting it. Facts. Against the grain, uh, I can't stand against the grain. The grain. Yeah, That's yeah, why I go against you ever it. Ever sit sideways and grip grain at the same time? Uh, no, you're distracted. So. Driving is out of control. Yeah. Not only are you sitting sideways, but you're gripping. Grain. How do you grip grain when you're sitting on your hands? Just sit on one hand at a time. Doobie doobie do. Feels like a stranger. Was that a Patreon thing? I don't know. People liked it. Don't care. Did that good. I was. I'll... I felt like people weren't ready for my vocals, but you have a beautiful good. voice, David. Thank you. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let Will talk a little bit more about Blink One Eighty Two. They were great. Still got it. Had a little moment during the set, during Adam's song, where I thought back. I, I hadn't listened to Adam's song in probably over a decade, and they started Same. singing it. And I went back in my head to when I would just have like headphones on in my bedroom as a child, yeah. and I would just be like listening to Blink-182 as loud as I could on my, my CD player, <sighs> on my Discman, as some call it. And I got a little emotional. I thought to myself, "This is th these guys kind of turned me into the person that I am today in a way. Is it's, Adam's song, is it a softer melody? It's, what, a, sad what's up? Song. it's, a, it's a very sad song okay. about wanting to die. Um, oh. That's not why I got emotional, though. It was just, it's a really good song. And, and there's kind of some introspective it stuff from it. Hit you in the feels. It's, and like the, in the background, they had all these old photos that I remember like seeing for the first time when I was like a little, like, I mean, when I was a teenager, Taking in Blink-182. Like, it was just like, oh, man. Like, I'm going down memory lane right now. This I is fun. I had the same experience with that. And the fact that Mark introed it. Yeah. With like, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was it was really good. Uh, the song that hit me was Dumpweed. Because it's the first song on Enema of the State. Yeah. And I just... That's an album that I would put in and just hit play. Yeah. And that was the one... That got the, that got the stadium popping. It was cool. It was cool. It felt good to see them. And... Uh, See a band that's like they still had it. They could still play the songs. I mean, they, they've never been known for their live performances in terms of uh, music proficiency. They I would say. Great, I I'm thought. pretty sure Tom like just kind of missed a few lyrics several times. Maybe just went to a different part of the song. There really? was one time, but that's yeah. okay. That's okay. We don't we don't mind that. They're they're punk rockers. Uh, but it was fun. It was fun. Uh, if you are going to a future Blink show, just know that you won't get home until at least 11:30. Yeah, quarter, it was late. Quarter till for us. Um, also, no, you're going to get a heavy dose of Travis, which is a good thing. Yeah, Travis was killing it. It was fun. It was fun, man. And then uh, the rest of the weekend, I just uh, you know hung out with my wife as it was her birthday on Saturday. Happy birthday. And just kind of hung out. Just whatever she wanted to do, I made it happen. Oh, you want to go get a little Tex-Mex? I can make that happen for you. Saw that. Yeah, you want to you wanna mix up some ice cream? We can do that as well. You're on your ice cream shit, man. I've been eating so much ice cream, dude. He's made a creamy ice, boy. So I made ice cream this weekend, and guess what I made it out of? You ready for this? You got to give me a chance to answer? Go ahead. Cottage cheese. 
So we took that cottage cheese, we mixed it all up. We put a banana in there and we made a little uh, banana bread cinnamon delight awesome ice cream. It was was it lit? That's what it, it was, was so good. It was so good, Dylan. Is this something you came up with yourself or did you find it on the internet? We found somewhere? a recipe to make cottage cheese ice cream on the internet that was healthier. And then we doctored it up with so much sugar that it was not healthy anymore. <laughs> but good. it tasted so good that I'm a fi- I, I am obsessed with making my own ice cream at this point. I have to do it like every day. I'm going to get so big. Damn, what if you brought some in for the squad? No, uh-uh, you can, you're so anti sugar, dude. I can't do that to you. That'd be that'd be dangerous. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I don't know, Randy. Randy, uh, Randy, can you actually remind everyone what you said to me when I asked you for one single jalapeno? Okay, so you're not going to bring me some in. I said, grow your own. <laughs> but wow, yeah, but you're not going to give me any. That's fine. Wow, we dude. could we could maybe do a mead uh, ice cream exchange. Oh, dude, big news! Today's uh, strawberry mead bottling day. Let's go! Oh, that's big. That sounds good, good for you, Randy. That sounds good. But yeah, nothing crazy. Um, I started the bear. Now that everyone's tweets have died down about season two, I can finally dive into the bear and not feel overexposed to season two. I'm doing gemstones first. Uh, I'm I'm watching them both. Gemstones this season has been a plus for me. I'm three episodes in and I'm very pleased with what's gemstones going on. Is hitting. It's been it's been really really good. Shout out to Judy, the best. Yeah, yeah. Bible bonkers. <laughs> baby billy's bible bonkers i love it i love it it's it's a show that i forget how good it is until i'm in the middle of an episode and i'm cracking up and i think to myself this is just amazing television so yeah major shouts how far are you in the bear duh bear one episode in to okay. season two to season two there were just so many people talking about it online that i just completely removed myself from the conversation I, I didn't want I didn't want to be part of the narrative of all these people talking about it when I wasn't ready to watch like eight episodes in a row. Yeah, I've, I've kind of stalled on. I'm through three. I'm gonna try to knock out a couple tonight after uh, Love Island. Everyone's just talking about the Christmas episode. Christmas episode. I'm like, okay, like now I have to like build it up in my head, and I'm gonna like put it off watching it for like a month because I'm like, oh, I'm not ready for the Christmas episode. That's so chaotic. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Is our friend DJ Bean and Pete Blackburn? They're, they're big on the bear. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, are they bearish on the bear or bullish on the bear? I don't know. That's a great question. I always fuck those up with my left and right. I, I think they're all, all in, so I think they're bullish, confusingly. But I've had to avoid yeah. a number of their uh, posts because yeah. I'm so late to my beardom. It's a word. It's a great show. Thanks. Can't wait to start the second season. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I got some big cool. news for you guys. Today's oh. show, this show, is sponsored by BetterHelp. Me? Big fan of therapy. I do it often. Such a big fan. I recommend the, therapy to everyone. I actually scheduled an appointment the other day because I was like, you know what? It needs to happen. Uh, sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices and the path forward isn't always clear. So whether you're dealing with decisions around your career, relationships, anything else, therapy helps you stay connected with what you really want while you navigate life so you can move forward with the confidence and excitement that you know and love. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values uh, it's like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. I've benefited from therapy in my past. I have I have done things in life that I know that I couldn't have done. I've uh, climbed mountains, proverbial mountains, not actual mountains, mm-hmm. Dylan, uh, that you know I don't think I'd be able to do without therapy. No one's ever left a therapy session and been like, you know what, I wish I didn't go. Yeah. You always feel better. Even if you think you don't need it, it's just a good to, to check in and make sure your things are going as you want them to go. Get a, a different perspective on things. Very, very helpful. It's just nice to have positive coping skills to set some boundaries, to uh, empower yourself, to be a better version of yourself, whatever it is. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited for your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash circling today and get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash circling. Randy, can you put some photos up on the screen for me? Because I have a question here. Who bricked the hardest? 
Okay, dude, he's not even here. Who bricks? How are we going to talk about the him? The hardest. No, see, I could see Brett doing this. Ah. We have some issues here. Uh, <clears throat> so I guess the, the Open Championship, or as, as us uh, blue-collar gents call it, the British Open. Uh, is, is upon us. And I think a lot of the lads are heading over to England to uh, prepare for it. And it's causing them to go to the Wimbledon championships, which are happening right now. You guys familiar with Wimbledon? I am. I'm familiar with Wimbledon. Yeah. Total vibe out there. Grass courts. Okay. Just, just a quick, I haven't really dug into the outfits here separately. Huh? We're looking at Ricky Fowler, Jordan Spieth, Justin Thomas. Correct. That is correct. Dude. Uh, three PGA professionals. Remember spring break? <sighs> Dude. Uh, no, because I didn't go because it's for GDIs. Yes. And very good point. Tour professionals, yeah. apparently. Yeah. These guys went to fucking Baker's Bay, dude. At first glance, nothing. They played is, golf shirtless. Nothing is screaming brick to me. I wanted to do that so bad. Right away. Why don't we dive in? Let's dive in, though. Why don't we dive in? Why don't we start with one Jordan Speeth? Okay. I think I know where this is going. Jordan could have ironed his clothing, he could have ran a steamer through some stuff. He could have worn some non-sneakers. He could have put on a tie like his boys, but instead he decided to do none of that. I don't hate the tieless look as much as I hate the sneakers. I think think with the proper loafers, maybe something similar to what Ricky's rocking, that could have been a great fit. Ricky has great shoes on. Ricky does have great shoes on. He's got the nice bit loafers. Does this feel like a situation where Jordan may have been not in the group text where they were talking about what they were wearing going into the event? Did he did he leave his garment bag back in Dallas when they got on their PJ to fly over to the? Did he run this fit by the misses? I don't know. Like I just feel like he could have avoided what happened when these other two were wearing similar suits, three piece. I'm not a big fan of the three piece suit myself. When I see someone who's so so wrinkled like this, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe this was taken late in the day and they've been sitting around for a long time and getting all wrinkled up. The other guys are pretty crispy though, so I don't really know. I don't know. Jordan, I feel like Jordan knows what's going on here, and I feel like he's going to go back to the drawing board and come out better. The the elbow wrinkles are really bad. See, you can usually get away with that when it's not uh, a suit like this. Like it's like, like linen suits do that the worst. Sure. To have this yeah. happen with a non linen suit, that just shows just some some carelessness. It's here. like his arms were bent for an extended amount of time, as if like he was sitting on his hands or something. Maybe he just got straight off the. <laughs> Straight off the wall. Maybe you just got straight off the, the plane. Wall. Um. Okay. Maybe he got directly out of his car. I guess like an maybe he, maybe he couldn't iron his suit because his hands were asleep. <laughs> okay. Okay. You see where he's going with this? Doing a lot. He's significantly taller than these fellers, by the way. Can he? Can he at least feel good about that? Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, whoever rebuilt his hairline did an excellent job. <laughs> Phenomenal job because you remember 2016 speed. It was, it was they actually, was, yeah, that's was, a good point. Dave. He was trending Dave. He looks pretty good. He definitely has some work done up there. He looks I pretty applaud. good. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. If I am ever in a position where I have become a very, very wealthy golfer, that's probably the first thing I'll do. What about a wealthy podcaster? Ah. Uh, no, because I don't have to deal with the comment section. Like, Dave got his fucking hair done. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. So Fuck. You, can, you can see the follicles like, got, on the camera. You got poser hair. Yeah. That's what they'll probably say. Poser hair. That oh, would, would, dude. Would, would we didn't talk about me. Speaking of calling people out for outfits, dude, I got fucking straight called out in front of Dave the other day at Kanji for dinner. By whom? Oh. Dude, the hostess absolutely <laughs> called me out for being Dude, a poser. I think what, she liked you. What'd she say? I do too. I think she did overall. By the way. I walked in and I had a I had a shirt on. You guys have seen my sh- my shirt with the surfer on it. I've learned that's a hot people restaurant, by the way. Yeah. It, it's nothing. You like- know, you know, right when you turn to the hostess stand, what's your what's your info? Certified HPO in there. Oh, see, I couldn't I couldn't see beyond all the smoke that she was throwing my way. She was she was a little flirty with you, I gotta be honest. So I'm standing there in my surfer shirt. Cause I'm like, you know what? These guys are Encinitas boys. They know they know about the surf culture. I'm gonna wear a surf shirt to the Blink on A2 show. So I show up to dinner and the girl asked me, she goes, Oh, who's the surfer on your shirt? I was like, <laughs> um, I don't know. It was it's somewhere on here, but I don't know who he I is. I have to say, it was in a upbeat, positive, it like, was. genuine question, not like a, 
Name five surfers. But is it a graphic tee or what? Yeah, what it's a graphic tee. Okay. And, a good tee. and it is a famous surfer on the shirt. I'm just not that familiar with him because I don't think he's part of the series that I watched. That's my only surfer knowledge at okay. this point. Okay, got it. So, so then she asked me where it is. I was like, I don't know where. I clearly don't know where anything is on this shirt or who it is on this yeah, shirt. Stop was, asking me it questions. Was pretty evident that Will was like just wearing the shirt, and then she goes, which is fine. Then she looks at me and she goes, do you surf? And I was like, no, I don't <laughs> surf. Like, I well, we did, we did tell wow. her. We, it somehow... This is in like a 30 second interaction that we told her. We like, well, we surf once. And she's like, oh, really? Where? Like, she was really. We were like, Ponte we Vedra Beach. She must have been, a, okay, I think she was beach, probably yeah. a surfer herself. So she was genuinely she was. curious. She was genuinely curious. Yeah, curious. She you had out. blonde hair. She was definitely, like, she looked the part of a surfer. Yeah, she put you on front street. I know. I was just like, stop asking me questions <laughs> right now. Like, I, I don't know who the surfer is and I don't surf. Oh man, I've been a I've been a, a poser for my entire life in the surf yeah, scene. That, that's the equivalent of like na name their name five songs of the band of the T-shirt you're wearing. It's like I just no, to, I can't. To go from her to our waiter who was awesome, but was just like everything you'd say. Be like, you know, what? we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do the fish fritter. And he would go sick, sick tight. That's so tight. sick. That's tight. Yeah. Sick tight. It's like yeah, he'd be like sick, sick. That's tight. What color is Justin Thomas's suit? I don't know. Close to white, but not okay. A little off white eggshell. The the three the three pockets are becoming popular. I've noticed. I don't like that. That's too many pockets. I'm not a fan either. Why do we need that many pockets? I don't understand three piece suits. Why do we need vests? Tom Klein isn't listening. No, but like when you're getting married and stuff and you're formal, it's fine. But like if I'm going to Wimbledon and it's summertime, I don't want to wear a three piece suit. Like, is he vested? Oh, my boys are vested up, dog. Oh. Okay, I think I see it. Yeah, I see it now. Like I'm trying doing? to wear as few layers as possible outdoors at Wimbledon. I'm not a three piece suit in the guy sun. Either, like no, I'm not trying to do that. It's just one too many pieces. Some people might have been critical about the length of JT's pants. Maybe he needs to get taken taken up a, a, about a half inch. To an inch. I, you know, I don't know where it's breaking. It's not ideal. If I'm going to Wimbledon, I'm like definitely hitting the tailor, but. I, look, I'm not a fashion guy. Which one of them put their sunglasses hanging outside of the pocket, and then the other one saw it and was like, "Oh shit, I got to do that too." Yeah, I just don't. I don't like <laughs> that right. look. Yeah, I like I like doing the glasses inside the pocket with just one arm hanging out, like an old dude in a hot tub. What color is Ricky's suit? Like tan. His okay. is more tan than I. I, I forget that you're asking genuinely because you yeah. struggle with color. I knew there's either pink or tan. No, no, no pink. Okay. No, we would have brought that up sooner. Okay. Um, Ricky is the best put together, in my opinion. Is, are we are, although, go, are we going through a Rickassance right now? Although I think he could have brought his his coat in a bit more. Rick's out for Harambe, dude. This is this is for this. I think Ricky might win the open. This coat was for Ricky plus ten pounds. Well, this is, you're gonna. Just you think he got that during a, like, a chunky phase of his life and hasn't gotten it retailed? That's what I think. He's 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 expecting another chunky phase of his life, so he's like, "No, nah, I'm not going to get it retailed just like, in case." I can either get this retailer or I can just gain ten pounds. It's almost like I have a lot of uh, experience in this this realm. I like what Ricky's where doing. I have one suit that I'm not going to retail her because I want to make sure that I have a chunky boy suit. I bought way way back in my um, poor like just got out of college days. I went to not a Joseph A. Bank, but that type of place, and I got like three suits. And I weighed about 205 at the time, but it, it wasn't good weight. And I lost a bunch of weight. I was like, these suits are absolutely worthless to me now. I can either gain weight again or yeah. just find new suits. I look like an early it? 90s banker in some of the suits that I have from when I was two bills. But I'm keeping them around. This was back in like the three button era. So like, I'm <clears throat> happy to get rid of these. Plus they were cheap. So If you would have gone to Joseph A. Banks, you could have purchased one and then been uh, immediately given eight for yeah. the price of that one. Mm -hmm. Which it's is good, a really good deal. It's a good deal. Really good deal. Got to wonder how they stay in business. Um, can we talk gorillas? It's gorilla time. Juiced up gorillas? Are we doing a Jersey Shore section of this podcast? I remember when. Uh, what's the what's the not Sammy? J Wow said something about like there she was with Mike. The situation you're familiar with them mm -hmm. did some time. Um, and they were down and she like saw this, like just jacked up juice dude. And she's like, Oh my God, that's my gorilla. And my uh, Mike, Mike was like, are you serious? He's like, the gorillas are out thin as in. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, that's like the one thing that's other funny. than the sweetest bitch you'll ever meet that stuck with me from that show. Cause the situation who, by the way, was like 42 on the show. Gorillas are out. Like it's, it's, thin as in. 
Yeah, you need you need to ride the trend here, not not what your personal preference is. No, it's, no, no. Look, you serious? <laughs> it's like he was just taking him back. Tiny arm crew, stand up. The Toronto Zoo. <laughs> Shout out to our f- Canadian friends. They're urging visitors to stop showing videos to the gorillas. Huh? What? What kind of videos are we thinking here? Videos that are on people's cell phones. So you can think. You know, you can watch pretty much anything on your cellular device. Like, what days. kind of stuff do you watch on yours? I like to watch a lot of uh, home movies, stuff from like, you know, my my son when he was a baby. We like to go back and watch those. Maybe just some some special moments at home. Um, Big special moment guy. Instagram Reels. If you follow Washed Media on Instagram, they've got some really killer memes. Add me on the ground. So people were showing these gorillas memes. Uh, potentially memes. It's saying that it's having a bad influence on them, disrupting their family relationships and behavior. And one of them has become particularly enthralled by it. And they say that if he had his way, screen time would dominate his life, his little gorilla life. He would just be, (laughs) you know, classic. Like, bro, go touch grass. Reach out and touch grass. How close are they able to get to these gorillas? Is it it through a... Like a plexiglass. Have you, situation. You've been to the zoo. You're familiar with the gorilla zoo. I, I don't remember exhibits. seeing seeing big old silverbacks at the zoo. I mean, I'm surely I have. I just don't remember the the kind of enclosure they were in. I guess behind glass. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So you can like you can they can walk right, right up, up to it. it. Right. Yeah. You'll Got see. It. You see uh, videos from time to time get served to you where you have a uh, chimpanzee up there and it's like pointing at a baby that's right there and it's all cute it's like oh the chimpanzee recognizes that's a baby can you put a chimp in the same enclosure with a silverback no would they just rip each other apart i don't know maybe i I would think so i think it's a good fight i think the chimp's losing that fight but the gorilla i think it'd be more fun damage see like a a chimp and a bunch of silver bullets just tipping them back just pounding them just getting hammered against the grain are those woke free? No, well, I don't know. Uh, Maybe not 100 I don't know if they're woke free or not, actually. Only if the mountains are blue. Ah, uh, no, man. I like my mountains to be red, white, and blue. Fuck yeah. That's yeah, fucking, brother. That's fucking pimp tides. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm just kind of curious if you, let's say you're at the zoo. Yeah. Dylan, you, you've got a son who might be interested in the zoo. I've, I've been at the zoo. I'd like to bring my son to the zoo one day. Sure. Will you uh, show them a video? And if you if you do, what would you show them? You have to show them one video. Oh gosh, mm-hmm. um, I'd probably show them the video of the uh, "Add Me on the Grom" kid because it's yeah. just a good like. Hey, this is the culture that I'm all about. Take this in. You know, this is what I'm about. Yeah, not to be confused with Lil Esco. Lil Esco, completely different. I've never confused the two. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people might. He told me to get my drip up because I'm old. I don't appreciate that. From I wonder if he's ago. still influencing. I don't, was he ever really? I mean, he was influencing people. Yeah, has, influencing his, has his cameo price yeah. gone up or down since we bought one from him? I, I haven't been on a cameo in a bit. Did you guys buy that? Yeah, you did, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, we. I think we bought it at Matt's after like one Mexican martini. It's fucked up. Doesn't man. take much. We're gonna we'll recklessly buy some cameos <laughs> yeah. if you're not careful. Yeah. And by us buying it, we mean that the company definitely paid for that cameo. The Chet Hanks one is a good one still. Do we do that one too? Uh no, I think that was just a, a random listener, but okay. I could be wrong. Okay. I would show them the Chet Hanks uh White Boy Summer video just to really confuse the gorillas. Like, wait, who the fuck like, they're like, wait, this is Tom Hanks' actual son? Why is he why is he fa-? Like, they would just it would blow their little gorilla minds. It would. Michael once got me a Love Island um, USA season one cameo from someone. Really? Yeah. Shout got out a couple Cole Campbells. Shout out Yeaman. Yeah. yeah. But you don't book him through cameo. You just book through his DMs. Yeah. He's got his own little system going there. Yeah. He doesn't want to pay that little fee. You got to pay in Canadian dollars. And he's reporting that money. <laughs> For sure, dude. Uncle Sam knows all about that. Yeah. You guys got me Pontius. We did. We got Randy Party Boy. Why did we get Randy Party Boy? I don't know. I don't think we really knew what Randy was all about. Like in retrospect, we should have got him like fucking Goku or some shit. <laughs> that would have been sick. Well, That's a thing, isn't it? it Dragon isn't Ball. It? Why did I say it like that? In it. Stay early, Dad. 
You know? Yeah, quit showing videos. Are these, these are nude videos, right? These are sexual are, in nature. Can I ask a dumb question? I don't know if people are just are showing people, them bang, bang boss. Are people showing them <laughs> porn videos? Like, are they showing them like their that's, own home videos? That's the way I read well, it. I like, their you own know, home videos? I don't know, man. Rambe, these are verified amateurs. <laughs> They're verified. <laughs> okay. Think the gorilla, do the gorillas sit, do they sit on their hands before like people show up to the zoo that day? They're like, oh shit, it's 8.55. I better go sit on my hand. I don't want to answer that question, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I get it. You got to be, be careful. I get it. It might happen. I don't know if they know about the stranger thing. Stranger at the zoo. Sitting on his hands. I really hope that's glue. Gross, dude. I know. All right, that's I'm just weird. What the fuck really is your problem? I don't it's fucking disgusting. know. That's your fucking problem. I thought we were doing some shit there. It's disgusting. You, did, you just did too much. You took it a step farther. I'm 46 I minutes in and you just hey, derailed everything. You guys put down a line. If he doesn't snort it, I'll cross it. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Simply Come too on, much. Come on, man. It's not cool. Fuck's your problem. I'll do that. Anyway, maybe they're showing him bum fights. Did you ever oh, get into I don't bum like fights? bum fights, man. I liked bum fights a lot more before I lived somewhere with homeless people, before I had empathy. You I, know? Don't, I, I don't only, watch that. I couldn't do that. Growing up somewhere without homeless people, it was like, oh, this is kind of funny. These homeless people are fighting. And now like, it's just like thinking about that. I'm like, oh, my God. It's, it's messed up. But it's wrong. I, I got to say, just one thing that will never not be funny is the bum fights creator going on Dr. Phil. Dressed as Dr. Phil, including shaving the top of his head. And I never saw this. Dude, I, I, I got served a, a post about that. Did I didn't you? know that happened. That's really funny. It's, I didn't it's know that happened fun. either. That's it's, truly amazing. I don't really. look, uh, not the biggest bum fights guy, but. Excellent troll <laughs> job. <laughs> I think he kicked them off. I think he like, I mean, he's like, you're not taking this seriously. <laughs> you're not. That's good, Dr. Phil. You need to go back there. And think about what you've done. <laughs> You're showing gorillas porn videos on your phone. You kind of sound like the teacher from South Park, too. Yeah, you see, yeah. you're skewing Garrison. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. No one had me getting that. No? Yeah. No, not Mackey. Mr. Garrison. Mr. Who's, Mackey. who's Mr. Garrison? He's the teacher. Mr. Mackey's counselor. the counselor. Yeah, the counselor. The counselor. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. I still want partial <laughs> credit. I still want partial no, credit, Randy. We'll give him, I should know who that give is. Him a, give him an effort point. I'll, I'll, give, that, I'll give you an effort point. I'm marking that wrong on a, on a test, though. Okay. Drugs are bad. I'm good. <laughs> it was funny. South You're not Park. giving me We're any credit. Park. Nah, that was crazy. Funny. South Park, dude. Kidding me? I've only watched one episode of South Park in the last like six seasons, and it was the Harry and Meghan one. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. Is, is there still new ones that come out? Yeah. Did not know that? Yeah. Yeah. I recently also figured out how to remove, you know how like you have the keep watching thing on your your menu i recently learned yeah. how to remove things from keep watching really i got tired of getting suggested south park i was like i don't need south park suggestions every time i log into max i watch so much freaking netflix when i'm chilling dude i'll fall asleep and then like wake up and that's all damn i woke up the other day and i had i had fritos stuck to my butt crack because i Ooh. fell asleep in bed eating them you sleep nude? Jeez. I was the goblin mode. Oh. oh. Yeah. Fritos was, in your butt crack. I was re-watching Girls for the seventh time. And okay. I, I, had che <laughs> I had Cheetos all over my fingers. What's the worst chip to get in your butt crack? Ooh, Not your actual... I think a uh, Taki? I don't know. There's a fun one. Bugle? Hot fries? Ooh, a bugle in the butt. Yeah, good call, Randy. A bugle, bugle in the butt would be in tough. The butt. Vocal fry voice just makes me want to do... Um, Coke? No, made of honor, <laughs> made of honor speech, imp like impressions. <laughs> First time that I met Tanner, weren't sure about him. Yeah. But then he brought over flaming hot Cheetos, <laughs> and we pigged out on them and watched the Disney Channel. He watched the entire <laughs> Titanic movie with us, and I knew at that moment that if he was willing to sit there for three hours with us, then he could do a lifetime with Tara. Which he was probably just trying to Tara get laid. And Tara. Yeah, no, he was just edging the He was just trying time. to get laid. Yeah. Like, he didn't care about the movie. Tara and Tana can't get married. Nah. 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 I'd like to see a video of them, though, if I was a gorilla. Okay. Yeah. I can understand that. What do gorillas make? What sound? I don't How much think, money? Yeah, I don't think they have they don't get paid for anything. <laughs> well, if phones are their money, they're, they make money. Their contracts aren't guaranteed at the zoo. <laughs> 
Damn, they just keep them there. They don't pay him shit. Pretty fucked up. Damn, I'm go. I got. I'm due for a zoo trip. Next time we go up to DF Dub, I'm gonna either hit Fort Worth or Dallas Zoo. Okay. A lot of people trying to cancel zoos, Dave. Yeah, you know, I was. I get it, but I have. A, I have a child that I would like to likes animals. I would like to like show make him a, a lad who's aware of the world around him and the animals that live in a little enclosure that people show. Um, I don't know. Verified Porn, amateurs too. Pornographic material. Hopefully that doesn't go down. The only video I'm showing them is the uh, is the, the video of you uh, trying to touch rim or whatever. Basketball rim. Basketball rim, not Just, the other one. Yeah, let's be clear here. Didn't go well for me. No. Dude, I actually uh, bought a zoo. Really? Where did you get the backing for that? You I just a bought loan? a zoo. You got it at foreclosure? Yeah. Yeah. I went out uh, with a celebrity investor. Really? Yeah. You guys might have seen his work in Goodwill Hunting. He was also in a movie called We Bought a Zoo. His name's Matt Damon. That's a coincidence. That's how we were getting there, yeah. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. It all sounds good. Still mm -hmm. haven't seen it. The movie or my zoo? Neither. Oh. More of a born. You Matt should come Damon on guy. over, man. We got some giraffes. Funny. They got black tongues. Learned that from Ugg. That was purple. Was it black? Well, it's all dark. Yeah. It is a darker tongue. Yeah. yeah. Ugg yeah. taught us that. They want to camp on a wanna. We hold you in our hearts, and when we think about you, it makes me want to fart. fart. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Even you know that one. I do. Look at that. I've watched a little bit of that. Okay. Up. You did. Okay. I, I see you. I was a child. I see one. you, dog. Did you go as far as watching Are You Afraid of the Dark? Remind me, uh, premise there who was uh, i think spooky season but somehow spookier oh remember tales from the crypt yeah i want that I, was hbo we're I talking with that a little nickelodeon bit. oh i don't i don't think i watched the that. crypt keeper was pretty terrifying he was so creepy he was man. the host of the show he was a skeleton hello boys and Wait, girls was he a skeleton yeah he was hello that's kinda how like, he talks kind of like skelly but but more evil facts skelly's chill Skelly might be too chill. He hasn't moved in a while in our office. Yeah. Uh, Should we put back. him in Brett's seat for the year with the week? <laughs> <laughs> Probably close just as many deals. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Just that's Brett's good. That's not job. fair. Brett's Brett, actually been he does Brett's online good. today. He's been closing so. his dick off lately. Yeah. Yeah. He's, today. he's online, Will. Let's see if Brett's Brett's doing a uh, he's doing a work from home day in Montana, which like if I'm in Montana sure. and I'm working from home, there's no way I'm working from sure home. Sure you are, Brett. Yeah. So we might need to test him later. If he doesn't do a post with like his laptop and like the view, yeah, and, like, he will be like a glass of orange juice in like uh, my office. Today. If we FaceTime Brett at any given moment today, will he be indoors? No, no. I would be disappointed if he was. Im yeah, imagine him just sitting at like the the dining room table or whatever place they rented, and he's just, just on his laptop. His pencil. Yeah, like dude, stop pretending you're working. Just go dude, have a vacation. You're not working, dog. Just go. Just go enjoy yourself. He's gonna hit us with some bomb memes. I can tell. You think so? We're on just bomb to prove, meme just watch. Just to prove that he's. Uh, oh yeah. That's grinding. like he knows that the one thing he could do is just make a bunch of memes and post it and do numbers, and that would like completely like. And you know what? Yeah. I bet he doesn't even tell us before he does it. We're just gonna look up at like four o'clock and be like, oh, oh, yeah. Did you post that? No. Classic. So just saying, be nice to the gorillas. Let them. It do sounds their like thing. people are being really nice to the gorillas, David. Yeah. For the well-being of the gorilla troop, please refrain from showing them any videos or photos as some content can be upsetting and affect their relationships and behavior with their family. So like you get them you get them going down like the uh you know the horny stuff and then it's just like they just become disinterested. They're just like hanging out away from their family, like just waiting for the next person to walk up with a phone. Maybe it's live leak they're showing them. Just like really gruesome car accidents. Or just Twitter these days. Yeah. Like, think any of these or gorillas are on threads? They're showing them nature is metal. Yeah. It's just like a chimpanzee riding on a Segway. <laughs> <laughs> that's not on nature. That's not that's metal not that metal, all. yeah. That's it's the, kind of the sick, opposite. Though. But it is fun. Nature, nature is chill. Cute. Nature is chill. Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. I love Squarespace. If you're not familiar with it, it's the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. 
Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with their audience, sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. I'm throwing the script away for today's ad read. Do you want to know why? Wow. Because I love Squarespace. I've been using it for a decade. Not that many things in my life have been as consistent as Squarespace. Ten years ago, I didn't know who I was. I was like, I got to build a website and decide who I am. I became the guy who started Sunday Scaries. Oh, wow. And I built, I built a blog around it. And I used Squarespace for it. And uh, if anyone's ever talked to me about building a website, just know that I've always done it through Squarespace. It's a really easy platform. It's aesthetically pleasing. You know that anything you make is going to at least look good and be reliable. Uh, you can do anything on it. You can start a, a blog. You can sell your products. You can collect emails. You can send out email blasts. You can just make a holding page that says like, hey, we're building our website. We'll be right back. No big deal. No big deal. Just go start it today. Go make it happen. I love Squarespace. You will too. I promise you. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash steam to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, that is squarespace.com slash steam for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. <laughs> Whoa, wait. <laughs> Somebody's motorcycle failing to start. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Joe. What happened? Welcome to my castle. Joe Wait. Biden and King Charles had a meeting this morning, David. Ooh. Sleepy Joe. Meeting of the Titans. Dude, can you imagine how rowdy that meeting got? How debaucherous it probably got? Do you think there were crumpets? What, uh, what have you been putting in your smoothie lately? Oh. Hey, God. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> That's a good hey, Joe. Hey. It's good. Hey, man. Hey. No, it's not. <laughs> Why do you sound like a, like a deadhead. Hey, man. Hey, hey man. <laughs> hey, man. You got a miracle, man. What did they? What did they talk about? What was on the agenda? If you had to ga guess, like and gas, probably like dentures. Okay. They were talking about this gorilla story out of Toronto. Have you, you seen see, what's going down in Canada? You see this? <laughs> they're taking the phones. <laughs> they're showing <laughs> pornography <laughs> to the gorillas. These amateurs are verified. Got to get past that. <laughs> Why do you keep talking about verified amateurs? I don't amateurs? know. It's just funny. Because be they're verified. They went through a verification process. How do you get verified to be an amateur? I don't know. You got to... Porn star. It's a two-step identification process. <laughs> really? <laughs> sure, it's not like. Never mind. Actually, yeah. You guys see Joe's uh, legs this weekend? Sleepy Joe's. Yeah, I saw. I saw some people really uh, stoked on the TL about his his frat boy fit. As they people were it. calling him Fratagonia. <laughs> No one, what? No People one's were calling him Fratagonia. Dude, I, I almost quote tweeted that with New Bombshell enters the villa because it looked like he was wearing you like, swim, done that. swim trunks and tennis shoes and like walking up. Hey, everyone. Where was he going? To the frat. He had a frat party to go to. Yeah, a he, kegger. Was, he was at the frat castle. It was a three kegger. He was a three's guy. Three's not a, not a lot. It was a kickback. Does he, he not like play golf? <laughs> dude. Is Joe not a golf guy? Real us, dude. Shit. There's no, there's no way he plays golf anymore. Like, did he ever though? I've never seen a swing from him. What kind of numbers is he putting up on a keg stand? Joe? Yeah. Eight seconds. That's kind of like not hey. terrible for hey, an man. old person. Hey. Oh, God love you. He turned. I up. can't do Joe Biden. That's fine. That's okay. Your That's Obama's fine. good. But he's not a part of the story. You think I'm going <laughs> to yeah, shoehorn him in? Unfortunately, Obama didn't meet King Charles today. He has met King Charles, though. Not when he was king. Well, he may have. What yeah, if What true. if Biden wanted to ask about, like, I don't know, maybe the relationship of someone in King Charles's family with, I don't know, Jeffrey Epstein? Mm. Prince Albert, Dave. Chill out. It's not Prince Albert. Chill out, dude. It's Andrew. Yeah. Are you sure? Got a glimmer of I don't know if that's right in your eye. I'm right. Okay. It's pretty dangerous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. I, I remember watching it in the crown and being like, "That's the horny dude. That's, that's the horny guy. That's, that's the guy. guy. That's a guy." Somebody, uh, somebody recently pitched a theory that there's Biden. Biden's no longer with us, and we're dealing with body doubles. To which I said, "Wouldn't they get like a more <laughs> 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 like?" Not 
extremely old man body double. Like, yeah, like maybe one that just they've got to sell it though. Or they really they're doing a hard like, dude, you got to fall today, man. I know you don't want to do it. It's gonna be a little embarrassing, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. you're gonna have to fall. Yeah, you're gonna have to fall. You gotta walk lock through a door that's like not really a door. Yep. The bike falling video is still just. What a, a bright moment for me. They lost one of the body doubles, the original one, because he refused to do that stunt. He was like, I'm not falling off. That's too that's too demeaning. I'm not falling off the bike. So they got to get a new one. And they did. Sir, we're going to need you to possibly break your femur today. Uh, I broke his femur. <laughs> I'm in the hospital. <laughs> really? Can you make a former president your vice president? Uh, I don't know. Uh, basic know. civics, bro. You but don't know that? As you Google? What? No, I don't think you can. Dave is looking it up. No, like I said, two laws prevent this from happening. Obviously, the 22nd Amendment. That's my favorite. 22! They're still spinning. 22, if you, son. If you go out to the law right now. You got sprees on how it? That, yeah, I got sprees. And the 12th Amendment, famously. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so it looks like I'm out. <laughs> okay. okay. We'd get, I knew we'd get there. Get, it always comes back to Obama. As it should. Will's got, uh, we bought a zoo pulled up <laughs> on his fucking screen. What? A pull up? We, no. So after um, Matt, my, my investment partner, Matt, um, his wife died. It's not great. Not great. And so he was living in LA at the time and he decided he wanted a fresh start by quitting his job. And so he moved his children to an 18 acre property. Hmm. That's when I came in. So he was like looking to put some cattle on there, get the ag exemption. <laughs> I think that's exactly what he was trying to do. And so then he and I started hooking up. They made a movie about it, but they made me Scarlett Johansson. Ooh, Scar it's weird. Joe. Scar Joe's in that? My yeah. car is Scar Joe. Is she still dating the SNL guy? I think they're married. I think she's they're still, married. Good. She's yeah. still off social media completely? I don't know. That's a horny question. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I yeah. think she's one of those that like, doesn't do it. Swing. Wah, 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 wah. Like Jennifer Lawrence types. I respect the people that don't do it. If you're uh, like if you're a big enough star, you don't have to do it. Like Leo, all Leo does is just post uh climate change stuff so like if anyone ever comes to him for anything he can just be like well i'm the climate change guy on social media you can't always, come to me she's don't always that. repost it to our group text with the eye rolls emoji like what the fuck yeah <laughs> liberal <laughs> media dude do not do liberal that. media yeah uh, she's, I she's a horny she's guy on, she's not on anything that one's pretty horny good for her scar joe yeah scar joe neither yeah. is jonah hill her digital footprint is minimal what about your carbon? Footprint? I would love to meet Scar Joe and Colin Jost on vacation and have a drink with them after. Yeah, dinner. who wouldn't? Like that, that. That's a really good underrated couple. I didn't know they were together until uh, seven seconds ago. They're smashing, baby. They're having sex. You got to think there's good some of that going on. That was just on. kind of an Austin Powers good thing. for them. Ooh, guess where Tom DeLonge had dinner the night before the concert? Kanji in Austin. Yep, that's El Rancho. Ooh, um, Terry Black's, Rapolo's, Jeffries. Um, favorite pizza. Black Sheep Lodge. Uh, home slice pizza. Hula Hut. Um, P. Terry's. You just get it. You got to give us Evangeline Cafe. Uchi Sushi. Uchi Wally Wally. Girl, girl place. ran over to uh, her seat at the concert right next to us, and she sat down. And within 0.5 seconds of sitting down, she looked at us. She goes, "I met Tom DeLonge last night." She was wired, so excited. That's cool. I didn't believe her. Because I was like, oh, of course you did. Like, <clears throat> sure, whatever. And then she busted out her phone and she was like, he was at Uchi. You went out for some sush. Yeah, hit that sush. Hat or no hat? Hat. Also, you'd like him. He's a big alien guy. Were you surprised by how many times he shouted out the guys in the crowd who uh, helped his alien research? It's one of the more bizarre things that's ever Dude, happened. Dude, Dave's the, a bigger alien guy than I am. He's shouting out the fucking guy from Lockheed. Lockheed Martin. I, just fucking... Who's there at the show listening to Tom, like, do... In his seat. Diarrhea humor. He's deep in the game. Deep in the game, dude. Deep. I respect him. Yeah, man. he had a guy it's, sitting right there. He kept on calling him out, like, being like, dude, thank you for showing up tonight. Thank you so much he for He wants help. answers, Will. He does. It's honestly one of the most bizarre storylines of the last uh, 10 years. That he's somehow now 
Yeah. If you believe what he says, like he's in like high level top secret clearance meetings discussing this, and it's just like, okay, are they kind of playing you? Are they using you to put stuff out there that we want out there for one reason? I don't know. You I'm just a Tom skeptic. You know pawn? me. Yes. Damn. I'm gonna tell Tom that, dude. I just DM'd him. I mean, I know the CIA would say what you hear is just hearsay, but. I don't know, man. I kind of believe Tom. I just wish someone would tell me what was right. Let's play a little game. You'd hate that band. Let's play a little game. I want to tell. I want you to tell me which dude was most down bad this weekend. Okay. All right. I'm going to put out some guys. I'm going to put out some celebrity guys here. Some dogs. Ooh, the like boys. Who might have like exhibited this. some dog behavior this weekend. Some straight up boys. They're getting dragged on the socials lately. Some would say it's justified. Others might say, it. wait, 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 wait. Me, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna influence one way or the other. Okay, our first down bad candidate of the weekend was John Mayer. You guys are familiar with him and his work. He's the original Grateful Dead guy. He can shred. He, the he's, yeah, he's the rich dude. And so he's getting dunked on because Taylor Swift uh, re-recorded one of her albums with a song on it called "Dear John" about John Mayer. And even mm-hmm. though she she told the Swifties to to be nice to him and to be you know not not do what they did to Gyllenhaal. Uh, he still is getting dunked on very hard. What did they do to Joan Hall? Just just dragged his ass. Just quote tweeted him and stuff. Yeah, he he got he got dragged pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, but it it was different because she put out like a longer version of the song about him, whereas she just re-recorded the the Dear John song. You know, she didn't put more oomph into it. Like it's more of like a fuck you, mm-hmm. twist the knife. Okay. Yeah. That was pretty bad. I understand that concept? Can't be. He, his Instagram comments are just filled with Swifties. This doesn't seem too bad. I'm 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 hoping that other ones on this list are down more bad. Okay. Well, what about like let's talk about our friend Drake real quick. You're familiar with Drake. Drake. He uh, he also got involved with Taylor Swift this weekend. He posted a congratulatory post with Taylor Swift, except the person he posted it with was not Taylor Swift. Did he really not know? I don't know. Oh, he I did. don't know. Did he? the girl the she released a TikTok? I think Cat Pat sent it to the group. So but, he knew that it was a fake T Swift. Yeah. She oh, said, okay. She okay. Said okay. Good. He walked up to her like when he was at the restaurant was like, "Hey, congrats on the drop," and like she kind of laughed. He's like, "You do." You, it was like, oh, you do look a lot like her, like Taylor Swift. Do you, ever, do you ever get told that? It sounds like some really like bad game being spit, but I don't know if that's what's happening. Drake here. just seems unself-aware, and I like it. He's so corny. It's the best, though. Yeah. He, it's, he is so unintentionally funny sometimes. He's got to has a little uh, LeBron in him in that way. He does. He does. I think with the pig, I mean, I get the res- – there is some resemblance there, but like – there were people who thought like he really believed that that was Taylor Swift. Like, because because they he know had, each other. He had like cool guy serious face in the picture. If he, if he like if I was taking a picture of someone who I knew was like the fake version of someone else, I'd be like laughing or making a joke of it. But he's doing like his, you know, looking all tight. Is it if, if you're a celebrity, if you're like an A list celebrity, and you see another A list celebrity in the same place eating as you, do you, are you are you obligated to yeah. go make that photo op happen? Not necessarily a photo op. But you got to say hi to him. That's an unspoken, it's just a celebrity code. Unspoken celebrity code. Okay. 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 Everybody okay. knows that. So you mean like if uh, Carrot Top was in town and saw Tom at Uchi? You got you to gotta at least dap him up. Yeah. C-Top yeah. got to go. Spread some love. Yeah. Got to. Uchi's a very intimate restaurant. It is. So like that's one. Like if Tom's sitting there, you're like, now, Tom's th- right there. Actually, the girl made an interesting point. She said, had we not seen him in the entrance, we would never would have seen him because like you're kind of blocked off from everybody in like the booths and stuff. It's it's a it's an interesting setup. Yeah, there. yeah. She was like, was, we had a very short period of time to see him and we somehow saw him and she was very happy. She about got a pick. I wonder she if I would pick. if I wouldn't recognize him. Tom DeLong. Or Drake. Tom DeLong. No, I don't think you would. No. Um what's what's the tall haired guy's name? This guy. Mark? Mark, what's his last name? Hoppus. And Mark. Okay. I'd recognize him. He's more recognizable than me. I was always a Mark guy growing up, but I like both of them. So, uh, let's go to our next down bad person, our friend Guy Fieri. He's facing criticism for talking to Trump. Shout out J-Bone. J-Bone. Immediately former, texted him when I saw this photo. If a former president walks by you and extends his hand, you have to shake it. Can um, I? Can I... Provide some context as someone who did watch the UFC fight and saw this, not that interaction go down, but where Trump was. I think he went, he made his way over to Trump. Trump wasn't like walking around shaking hands. Guy ain't like no fool, dude. Guy guy knows what he's doing. But you, they're, uh, now pe- people are big mad at Guy. If you have the social clout of a guy like Guy Fieri, 
you can walk up to a president like that. Let him do it. This is the A-lister thing that we just talked about. It's yeah. the unspoken thing. It's not, it's not an endorsement of everything the guy has ever said. If you're a person out there who doesn't want a photo of Guy Fieri with Donald Trump, I don't like, what's your problem? Yeah. Politics aside, that's a picture we want out there. Yeah. It was kind of like how everyone wanted a Donald Trump mugshot. Both sides could have used it for, for their own usage. Mm-hmm. I would have loved a mugshot. Yeah. Yeah. It's the orange man. I've never heard a bad thing cheater, about man. Guy Fieri. Like I, I mean, like you always, like his restaurants. You think oh, in his sense of style. Well, aren't his restaurants widely panned? I don't know. I just know when I've he, never eaten at one. I've heard he does. He does a lot of. He helps every restaurant that he goes to. I've heard. I've heard that he is very charitable and yeah. like and like. I've heard, yeah. I've heard that behind the scenes he is a very stand up person who uses his celebrity in the proper way. He could just have. Uh, he could just have a publicist or you know PR team that leverages Dumois to put that out there. Facts. Look it up. Well, what if uh, what if I told you that our uh, our man Jonah Hill is in, in deep deep shit right now? This is the down the most bad to me is Jonah Hill over the weekend. His ex released a bunch of text messages where he seemed to be a bit controlling, very a bit, possessive, de- a bit demanding regarding his boundaries. We can, we don't need so, to get into the all the politics behind it. Well, his ma- okay. I have a question, and I don't know. Uh, I wasn't too familiar with their relationship. But some of the photos I've seen, like I'm like, oh, I recognize them together. Obviously, recognize Jonah Hill. She's a semi pro surfer. She was she was when they met. Mm-hmm. So I was reading some of the texts, and I'm like, uh, people are pointing out the hypocrisy because he slid into her DMs because he saw her surfing uh, and she looked good, or whatever. Yeah, you yeah, oh. can't do that. And now he's like, you can't do, you can't keep posting your like. You know, body in a bathing suit all over Instagram because it feels out. like that's what her career is. Yeah, and has yeah. been. So I just don't understand that. But I don't know. I feel like everyone's everyone's sent some texts that they're like, ah, shouldn't have, shouldn't have worded it that way. Maybe this is a better convo. I think Joan is probably thinking probably should have had that one face to face or maybe uh, via Facetime. Yeah, yeah. You probably probably, he probably wants better. these texts back if I if I had to imagine. He's another one who doesn't use social media though. So maybe 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 like when these things bubble up for these people that aren't on social, maybe they have no clue what the actual like fallout is from this. He looks he looks bad. Um, he, she shouldn't have done that. He'll bro. recover though. I think he's gonna end up recovering because it like I I don't think that like what he did is like going to make a Wikipedia page. It's not. It's yeah, but. <laughs> she she shouldn't have posted those. That is the uh, you know the you got to have that combo. That's you got to have that combo with him before you go to the someone, internet. With someone that. post a picture or a screenshot of my private, even if it's a completely harmless thing. It's like those are my. I sent those to just you. I don't. I don't know. I don't want the whole world to see them. He he hey. he needs to learn from his mistakes here. He needs to read those text messages and someone needs to explain to him within his team, hey, Jonah, this is why you don't do this. I'm not defending him at all, just for the record. A lot of people, she have done it, a lot of people are up in arms because of his documentary that he did with his therapist. And people are like, you're not supposed to be friends with your therapist. Like the even like the way that this documentary was made is very um Oh, I saw just kind of against the idea of therapy and the, like it's just weird. Is it yeah, Scientology? No. No, okay. just that movie you guys are seeing this weekend together, Scientology. Hey, based. guys, is he I, a Scientologist? No, no. Oh. Tom no, Cruise no, no. is though. Yes, just FYI. Just I, before I you some, go see his movie, can I break some news? Uh, this guy on Twitter is asking that we join him in boycotting Guy Fieri, and in his profile bio, it's hashtag Vote Blue, um, and then he lists out like the large accounts like fo- Occupy Democrats that follow him. Is that a good look to say followed by just so people know like oh this that is, guy is so lame legit that is super lame that is so lame this guy is followed by occupied democrats I don't know when Tasha Oakley followed Sunday Scaries I almost put that in my bio what who's your most esteemed follow- follower like who who's like the one you're most proud of on there on Scaries yeah I don't know Tim Howard like he was like suck up to Tim Howard. No, but he was like, but he was like an actual like he's like an actual celebrity that I looked up to that I thought was really cool. And the fact that he actually likes the content is cool. Most like big names that follow the account don't care about it. Like they don't even look at it. Like Tasha Oakley follows it, but she doesn't care. She's not that big of a name though. Love what you're doing I don't know. with your drive-ins, I don't your know. diners. It's probably Tim Howard, dude. American hero. USA. US men's national team last night was just going crazy. 
I almost texted y'all, but I feel like the too much dip text gets really annoyed with me being like, hey, good USA game on right now. If anyone like no one ever responds to me. I was watching Love Island, but I was following it on Twitter. I feel like I should just go direct to Dave with that because Dave's the most likely to actually turn it on and watch. I would have watched like, had I had I not been having a knockout. I feel like Micah I feel like Micah's got a side text that he just responds to when I send that text and he's just like, Yeah, bitch, we're totally gonna watch that dumbass. And then you guys all laugh together. <laughs> that sounds like him. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know there was a game last night. Yeah, dude, Canada went down. Oh, oh, Canada! First the gorillas, now this tough scene. Where all the U.S. supporters just standing there with porn on their phones, showing the Canadian team. They didn't say, yeah. I... What if they were just showing the gorillas, uh, people getting run over by their buddies in golf carts? That'd be good. The gorillas are just <laughs> laughing. They're like, what? The, why are they doing this? Why are y'all showing me this, dude? Why what, is this a thing that y'all do? Oh, that's great. It's kind of silly. Somebody could get hurt. That two's leg is ripped in half. Do mm. you think the gorillas like have like favorites? Favorite what? Actresses. Like Scarjo. Like, yeah, sure. Dua Leap was putting in work on the Grom. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good episode, guys. If we're done. I mean, yeah. Okay. I think it's run its course. Oh, yeah, Randy. We put that up. I just want to close it out with some pig humor. Shout out to the listener that sent me this. This is just this is just pay pig and at its finest. Oh, my God. Speaking Why? of bad. If you can't see, it says uh, it's someone getting Apple paid $708. And then the text says, may I be unblocked, please? And the person, I'm assuming it's a young lady, says, you may. And then this uh, person, I'm assuming is a gent, <sighs> says, thank you. That so, is wild behavior. Is that when you're like too deep in the slop? I want to be I want to be on the receiving end of a pay pig so bad. This dude was born in so the So bad. This dude's just so sloppy he can't even go out in public. 700 and eight, such a specific. Just for an unblocking. Unblock. unblock me. You've had people reach out to you to get unblocked. Or like reach out to us. I feel like, okay, like, hey, can you tell Dorn to unblock me? What's We've all fee? had that, I think. What's your fee? We've all had that. Have I? I don't know. Somebody has. Maybe I block. I think I'm the block heaviest oh, person here for yeah, sure. Yeah, you are block heavy. What's I'm block fee? heavy, dude. Fuck you. No one's as block heavy as Micah is, though. No, no. <laughs> I, I like a good <laughs> block every once in a while. It feels good. He's the it's original a, block you know party. It's been a very long time since I've done it. I'm going to block someone. Today. I blocked I blocked two people last Just week. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're not going to see it coming. I blocked a scariest person the other day because I posted someone with a mask like kind of hanging off their face, and they were like, why is that lemming wearing a mask? I'm like, dude, it was COVID. Like, yeah. just deal with Grow it, dude. Up. Like, you freak. Like, I didn't. I don't want to wear masks yeah. anymore either, dog. People but like, been nice to me lately. No reason to block anyone. Oh, must be nice. Someone's dude. still gonna get blocked. All right. Oh, all right, Dua. Chill out, David. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye.